Hi guys, uh, this is a very important video for um, the CS community because we have a new feature called Hardware Accelerated GPU Scaling. You should check your Windows uh, version if you have this uh, update installed on your system or not. Uh, click here, V Windows Update History. Uh, feature update to Windows 10 version 2004 uh, should be installed. This is a very new update. Uh, I have installed on 27 June. Briefly, as it's mentioned in DirectX developer blog, hardware accelerate GPU scaling enables more efficient GPU scheduling between applications. NVIDIA latest uh, driver 450 driver hardware accelerated GPU scaling is available from the Pascal and later GPUs. It's uh, I mean it's uh, from the GTX and RTX GPUs. For AMD, uh, it's for the latest RX series. Uh, it's set on default graphic settings. Let me show you. We are going to display graphic settings and here hardware accelerated GPU scheduling reduce latency and improve performance you will need to restart your PC to have your changes take effect this is the setting for example one frame one picture uh, takes 12 millisecond. One second, thousand millisecond. So, if you calculate the FPS frame per second, we will divide thousand to twelve to see how many frames do we see on our screen. In a second. Let's calculate. Equals to 83 frames per second. If one frame takes 16 milliseconds, FPS will be 62. Okay. If the frame takes more time on the screen, FPS drops. If the frame takes less time on the screen, FPS gets higher. You take all frames and calculate for all frames, it's the average. If you take 1% lowest frames, it's 1% for FPS. If you take 0.1% slowest frames and calculate the FPS for them, you get 1%, 0 0.1% uh, low FPS. If these values are close, this is the best. If these values are not close, and these are low, this is not good. For example, compare these two systems. This system has a higher average but lower 1% low and 0.1% low FPS. What does it mean? It means you will see much more stutter on this PC1 than the PC2. Our first test uh, will be hardware accelerated GPU scaling set to off. Uh, we are in our Hornet 
air tire mode as you can see fps currently 74 73 average 73 max 74 1 percent low fps 51 0.1 percent low fps is 49 47 it's changing it's air tire mode As you may know, DCS has serious problems uh, with air to ground radar mode, FPS drops status. Let's see. We changed the air to ground mode and 1% of FPS dropped to 10, 0.1% FPS dropped to 9. This means serious status because they are uh, distant from average. Average is 69, still 69. At this point, you can see stutters. This is a serious problem for DCS. Air to air mode. FPS max is 75, a little bit higher. 1% low is a little bit higher. 0.1% low is higher too. We have some gains here. Now we are coming to the point. We are changing uh, our mod air to ground. So this time we do not see any significant drop. As you can see, 1% low is 51, 0.1% low is 41. This means hardware accelerated GPU scheduling uh, means a solution to, to uh, air to ground mode stutters and uh, smoothness problems. This is a very important setting and uh, all people with uh, compatible GPUs uh, should set it to enabled. Okay guys, please subscribe to my channel and open notifications not to miss my coming DCS related content. Please leave your comments and questions below. That's lovely to see more and more people are using my DCS optimization guides and having great results. Don't forget, you don't miss the performance at point blank. See you guys.